All right. So what we're talking about is writing cubic functions. If we have a graph, we know that it crosses at negative 2 and negative 1 and at 1. So if all of these are zeros, if negative 2 is a zero, I know x plus 2 is a factor. I know x plus 1 is a factor, and x minus 1 is a factor. We've do, been doing everything backwards. So I know that my fa um, x plus 2, x plus 1, my factored form of my function looks like this. Sorry. And so there's an a multiplier out front because also I know that because it's going down into the right, that this number out front should be negative. But because I want it to go through 0, 6, that's what I'm going to do next. That's my x, y point. So y is 6, x is 0. So I get a times 2 times 1 times negative 1. So that's essentially negative 2a. And so a is negative 3. So then our equation is y equals negative 3, x plus 2, x plus 1, x minus 1. Nice part is, is if you double check, plug in 0 in here, 2 times 1 times negative 1 times negative 3 is a positive 6. You can double check that it has all of those points. Actually, you could graph this whole thing and just double check that it looks like that. All right, next problem. Write a cubic function whose graph passes through these points. This is essentially what we just did, just not without without the graph. So these are x-intercepts. You have to recognize them as such. And so that if negative 3 x plus 3 is a factor, x minus 1 is a factor, x minus 4 is a factor, because we would take all of these and set them equal to 0 and then solve for each one of those. So y equals some a constant x plus 3, x minus 1, x minus 4, and I plug in y equals 2 when my a value x is 3 plus 3, 3 minus 1, 3 minus 4. So 6 times 2 times negative 1. And so this is negative 12. So a is negative 1 sixth. 2 twelfths, 1 sixth. So our equation is negative one-sixth times all of this. Now, I would just leave it in factored form like this because it's much more beneficial. All right, lastly, chordic function whose graph passes through one, two, three, four zeros. And so x plus four is a root x plus 1 is a root, x minus, sorry, those are all factors, as I keep saying root, and x minus 3. And so, just like we've done on all of these, a times, and multiply all those together, you don't have to put them in order, but, and 110 is a solution. So 1 plus 4, 1 plus 1, 1 minus 2, 1 minus 3. Notice that we've done the same thing on all of these. 5, 2, negative 1, negative 2. And so that's 5 times 4, 10, 10, sorry, 10, negative 10, 20. 20, got ahead of myself in my writing. 20 times a. So a equals 1 half. And so y equals 1 half x plus 4, x plus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3. And there you have it. How to write equations.
equations.